Good afternoon. The Bishop of Chichester says he was told the Church of England in Sussex was a basket case and abuse by clergy was a major issue before being appointed in 2012. Dr Martin Warner made the comments this morning to the independent inquiry into child sexual abuse. The inquiry has been set up to examine how the church handled allegations of abuse in Sussex. The briefing that I had um, after it was decided that I was the candidate for this appointment, um, the Archbishop's appointment secretary simply described the diocese as a basket case. Uh, and that registered very clearly in my mind uh, at a number of levels. But safeguarding was the prominent uh, headline at that time. Well, our special correspondent, Colin Campbell, has been watching the inquiry this morning and uh, he's with me now. Colin, Bishop Martin was appointed at a time when the Church of England in Sussex faced an unprecedented sex abuse scandal. Yes, he revealed that he was made aware of the, the scale of the sexual abuse scandal that has really rocked the Church of England in Sussex before he was appointed as bishop. He went on to say that the protection of children and the identification of abusers remains a primary concern of his. He said over the years he's had to manage relationship breakdowns between bishops, rebuild broken trust with local authorities, but also have to deal with parishioners who've refused to accept, Charlie, that clergy are guilty of sexual abuse. He then went on to make this apology. I do want to say, uh, uh, to register my uh, sorrow and apology for the abuse of children, sexual abuse of children that has taken place in the Diocese of Chichester and for the ways in which it has been uh, mishandled uh, in the past. Now, Colin Bishop Martin Warner was also quizzed briefly about the church's handling of the case of Bishop George Bell. Yes, the Diocese of Chichester was recently heavily criticised for unnecessarily tarnishing Bishop George Bell's reputation. He is now deceased. He is a former Bishop of Chichester. But the Diocese of Chichester publicly revealed an allegation of abuse that was made against him in 2016, a story that we have reported on. Now, Bishop Martin Warner today said that painful lessons had been learnt about the handling of the case, that representatives of Bishop George Bell should have been included in the decisions before he was publicly named. Now, this afternoon, we're going to hear from two former Archbishops of Canterbury, Baron Rowan Williams, but also from Lord George Carey. Colin Campbell, thank you very much.